pretty dark now. In fact, it's quite dark. Um, but those are the two windows that we put in. I'll just put that across there as well, that bit of timber. A bit of, a bit of the metric 2x1. Oh, it's very, very... It's struggling to focus. Because it's too dark. Too darn dark. That any better. So yeah, um, so the windows are in, the two windows, and for those they're double glazed these windows, so uh, you get a friend to hold it up to the side, draw a line with your sharpie all the way around the window, and then take the window off. Obviously you make sure as it's level first at the top with your spirit level and it looks right and so then you take it off once you've made your mark you get a routing bit which we use a half inch routing bit and in the corners drilled holes in the corners of your marked out area and then with the jigsaw we jigsaw cut the aperture out so we end, we end up with a square that's a couple of millimeters wider than the window itself which is what you want and then um, we present the window up from the inside then just to make sure as it fits in the hole and then we put the frame out on the outside of it and once that frames on you want a lip of a half of an inch or the metric equivalent of an inch <laughs> which is uh, these are 25 these are uh, 45 millimeters wide so it's 22 and a half millimeters ish you want hanging over that side and then the rest is get get screwed onto here onto the actual boarding this so it's screwed on there as you can see and then the overhangs there and then on the inside of that you put your frame sealant now we use the bonkers frame sealant which is only a quid on the inside of that and then get a guy on the outside if you can so that when you push your window onto it onto the frame ceiling as you can see it squeezes out there which will trim off with a Stanley knife afterwards but you know then that that's sealed against that <laughs> and then from the back side you put on your um, <coughs> your further timber excuse me like that and then I'll put another one across here at the top later um, but the framing on the outside once the frame ceiling is on and you push your double glazed glass onto that that holds it and then that holds it from this side afterwards as you can see there's, there's not a gap around that and the same will be happening up here across there, put a piece in across there and a piece in down there at the bottom and we'll do that on both sides but that's pretty much set in now it does stand a bit proud because this is about an inch thick and that's only three quarter the OSB board that's about an inch thick, the double glazed so we will have to bring that out, the framing on this side to hold it in, but it'll be framed on the back face and framed on the front face and it's got the silicon sealant the window sealant frame sealant there as well so it's going nowhere that, uh, and it'll be um, able to withstand hurricane force winds and uh, the upcoming um, zombie apocalypse. And everybody will be laughing and, uh, and that, clicking their heels inside here. But there's, there's still a bit to do on the inside of the Tiki Hut, so um, I will be cracking on with that. That looks a bit misty, just bear with me. Is that any clearer? Maybe just the poor light in here that's doing it. Um, because it is dark now. So it's not very good in dark conditions, this. But all the um, the underside of the roof is going to be sheeted out as well. With hardboard or some equivalent. 
all on the inside of it. This is all before the winter sets in. So we're going to put that up. We're going to retain the skylight in there. But as best as we can, we're going to we're going to clad it on the inside. Um, Mick's got some king span. His mate's going to bring some king span down, which is a form of thermal insulation block that you can fit into these cavities, and then put, you know, another layer of boarding on this side of it. And um, it will be uh, it will be warm as toast in here, especially if we can get some heating inside it. There's your first aid kit. You want that. And those are the single layer panes. So they're not double glazed. They were double glazed originally. That was um, two panes of a, of a double glazed unit. But the seal had gone on, there, gone on them as well. And we thought, well, it's a pity to waste it. We'll just use them. But they're only single pane then. Whereas these are double glazed these ones so this is the tiki hut as it stands right now almost complete it's been almost complete for the last six months as you probably know if you're a long time viewer um, yeah I will I will film this in the light later in the week but there's still a bit of painting to do and stuff like that on it and there's your new windows and that's a door there and there's your windows so there's a bit of finishing off and trimming to do but uh, we'll get it done we'll get it sorted there you are Natasha a little farmer's farm And also we put the door knocker on that Tasha gave us as well. Me and James put that on the other day. And it goes nicely with the other iron mongery that we've got. That's your door knocker. Cool, isn't it? Cooler beluga. So yeah, I've just nipped down tonight just for a little bit because um, Mick's been doing some stuff up there um, in the polytunnel. In fact, the light's on in the polytunnel now. It sort of automatically comes on the light. Got to be careful what I'm doing here. It's so dark. So the light automatically comes on of an evening. Charges up during the day and then comes on at, e at the evening. You can turn it off. <coughs> There's the light on. Can't get in it at the moment because Mick's got the key. But um, Sandra's been down and painting, done some more painting up on these frames. You see inside there? No. Can't see very well inside there, can you now? Well, that's where we're at. Oh, it is open. Telling lies. So we put this bench in. It's noticeably warmer in here, too. With just the one heater mixed on this as a it's like a wizard's hat but it's noticeably warmer in here now with that on uh, yeah so we did put the onions in there's plenty of onions and shallots that we've we've started or we're starting off in here let's see if we've got any movement on the pack joy, I bet we've not. No, nothing's coming up as yet. They only went in a couple of days ago then. The pack joy 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 started in there. So um, we've got Chinese cabbage as well. Yuki Chinese cabbage. And the onions, shallots there as well. 
Uh, so yeah, we extended that bench, that potting bench. So it's quite long now, as you can see. And that's 12 feet long now, that potting bench. By about two feet wide. All neat and tidy, tidied up. And there's all the peppers, still alive. Still doing quite well. Those are my peppers, though. So those are the hot side dragon. Of which we've had hundreds of peppers off it already. And there's still loads left on. That's your basket of fire there. Basket of fire peppers. Hot Shakira. That's a hot Shakira. That one. And them's your little uh, bell peppers. Little baby bell peppers. So yeah, happy days and there's the light. Illuminating it all. And there's a critter. On the light. Look it off. Yeah. So it's Monday night, Monday the uh, 8th of October 2018. And Danny Farmer is signing out for the evening. And he's going in his tea. So I hope you have a good week and hope you're um, not working too hard. And um, we'll catch you later. Okay? We're going to pick up a load of horse manure tomorrow, me and Mick. So that should be fun. 16 bags of horse manure. Well rotted. From Coppel. Uh, so we're doing that tomorrow night. We'll film that as well. Why not? It's a vlog. It's a vlog. So we'll catch you later on, everybody. Have a good time. See you later. Bye-bye.